Greetings, this is Rob from Android Community, and today we have a video walkthrough of the Kyocera Hydro Elite. This is one of the more recent phones to come to Verizon Wireless, as you can see from the branding there. This one's got a 4.3 inch display, it's 720p, and it's powered by a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor with 1.5 gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage with a micro SD. Basic nothing over the top, you know, you kind of middle of the line specs here. You have a 1.3 camera up on the top, 8 megapixel on the back with a flash, also on the back you have a speaker, and then if you notice, the bottom here is empty. Your power micro USB in this case is up on the side of the handset, sitting opposite is your volume up and down, and then along the top you have the power button and the headphone jack. The phone overall is sort of squarish, sort of blocky, but the, the corners are, are rounded. It's relatively comfortable to hold. The back is like a plastic as you can hear. It's got a, a grip to it so it's probably not going to slip out of your hand at random times. The phone itself, smooth easy to scroll, nothing crazy there. You have your standard selection of apps. In this case, the phone is running Android 4.1.2. Not the newest, but again, this is your uh, mid-range phone, so that's a little more forgivable in that case. But basically, it's your standard mid-range Verizon handset for the most part. This one is a, a bit of a step up from some of the other Kyocera handsets that we looked at, such as the, uh, the Hydro Edge we reviewed earlier. This particular model, the Hydro Elite, does have a you know a few bumps in specs, which makes it nicer for Verizon customers. Plus, at this point, the price is right. It's free on contract, and also just about $15 if you're looking to go with the Edge program. But... While the specs are middle of the line, and while the performance is solid for day-to-day -day use, it should should be good for the average user looking for a phone that has a good mix between specs, performance, and price. But again, you have the Hydro in the name, which means it's waterproof, and it holds up well. No worries there. Of course, your touchscreen doesn't work as well with wet fingers but that's more normal nothing to worry about there assuming you're dried off it goes right back but again this is Rob from Android Community and this was a video walkthrough of the Kyocera Hydro Elite for Verizon Wireless